Balor vs. Cross Review Show. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and this is a review of Balor vs. Karrion Cross 2, ladies and gentlemen, the NXT show. And the first match that opened the show was Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai vs. Blackheart and Ember Moon. And it was an exciting tag match. And uh, it was awesome. And Shotzi Blackheart and Ember Moon got the win, ladies and gentlemen. But after the match, Raquel Gonzalez attacked Ember Moon. And it could set up a good title match between the two. It could be really good. Next match on the show was Bobby Fish versus Pete Dunne, and it was an exciting match. Back and forth action. It was a great technical wrestling and hard hitting match between these two men. And uh, Pete Dunne ended up getting the win in the match, and it was pretty good. And after the match was over, Oni Lorkin. Oni Lorkin attacked, attacked Bobby Fish and stretched his arm pretty good. And uh, building, and it could build up to a match between Oni Lorkin and Bobby Fish. That could be a great match as well. The next match, ladies and gentlemen, was Mercedes Martinez versus Zeta Ramir. And uh, it was a pretty good little match. Zeta Ramir got some action in the match, but she got beat by Mercedes Martinez. And at the end, Zaya Lee's group came out and marked Mercedes Martinez. And I think this could be a very good feud between Xia Lee and Mercedes Martinez. And uh, it's been a while since we've seen Xia Lee's group. And uh, Xia Lee, Boa, and uh, their master. And uh, they're a pretty good group, and I like them. So uh, um, I'm glad that they're back after they haven't been on in weeks. And it's good that we will get to see them back. Mercedes Martinez versus Exiley. That could be a great feud going forward. We'll see. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, the next segment was between Million Dollar Man and To The Moon, Mr. Grimes. To The Moon Grimes, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, and Million Dollar Man was looking for the new guy to fit the Million Dollar Legacy. And uh, out came L.A. Knight. And uh, he came out and beat up Grimes. And he whooped his butt to the moon, ladies and gentlemen. So, could L.A. Knight be under the tutelage? Of the Million Dollar Man, while Grimes tries to get his revenge against the Million Dollar Man, going for L.A. Knight. How could it go? We don't know. But this could do wonders for L.A. Knight's career, being under the tutelage of the Million Dollar Man and carrying on the million dollar legacy and i'm sure this will help grimes get some more action in the nxt roster and have pretty good storylines going forward a great great million dollar standoff segment. the next segment ladies and gentlemen was the debut of Frankie Mo May. And Frankie Mo Sorry. Frankie Monet reminds me of a glamorized version of Dana Brooke. 
but they will see how, uh, I mean, I mean, she was pretty de she was pretty decent in the ring, but I don't, uh, I don't think her in-ring match was anything special in this squash match. Let's put her in the ring with a more experienced veteran and see where Frankie Monet goes from there. The, the entrance was pretty awesome and a nice fluffy robe. The next segment, the next segment, ladies and gentlemen, was Bronson Reed celebrating his title win, saying if you put in the hard work, you can become a champion. And next up, who comes out is Santos Escobar wanting to make his intentions known for wanting a shot at the North American Championship. And Legado, Legado del Fantasma tried to attack him, but MSK comes out to even the odds. And uh, I like their line. Canada doesn't count. And uh, imagine that, ladies and gentlemen. USA. Bronson Reed represents USA, even though he's not American by birth. And uh, Legado del Fantasma. Oh, sorry. Santos Escobar representing uh, Mexico. And bring in a Canadian wrestler who is in NXT, and make it a triple threat match. That could be good. And ladies and gentlemen, the main event, Finn Balor versus Karrion Cross. This is their second match. And ladies and gentlemen, this match was a barn burner. It was an awesome a plus match. I was kind of disappointed that they started off the match with a commercial. I wish this match would have been the in your house main event. But other than that, I think it was a super duper excellent match. And I wish there wasn't commercials. And I wish we could have seen the whole match without the picture in picture and stuff like that. But it was a great match. It was the it was carrying cross with his power and his dominance versus the speed and the looseness of Finn Balor. And it was a great back and forth match. And uh, and at the end, Karrion Cross gets the definitive win. He looks dominant in the end against Finn Balor and uh, he will Karrion Cross will go on to defend against whoever the winner is in the triple threat match next week between Pete Dunn Kyle O'Reilly and Johnny Gar you know and uh, we'll see who wins that match and uh What's next for Finn Balor? I mean, is he still going to be on the NXT brand? Or is he going to go to the main roster? And if he goes to the main roster, I hope they use him right, huh? Not like the last time that he was on the main roster. He won. He was the first ever Universal Championship, and then... He he got hurt in that match where he won it, and Vince McMahon had it out for him, and basically put him on the mint card after that. And then he revived his career on NXT, and hopefully Vince McMahon doesn't mess him up again. But, uh, who will carry him across to defend the belt next? We'll see, and overall, it was a good show, great main event, and, uh, Karrion Cross versus Finn Balor 2 really made this a great review for the card tonight on USA. Finn Balor versus Karrion Cross 2. Good show.